I'm the ranking member of the Middle East Subcommittee on Foreign Affairs. I work very closely with Joe Wilson and my colleagues. I believe very, very deeply that the solution is upon us. The tragedy, the tragedy that we just saw, the loss of life that Hamas caused, terrorist organization caused amongst Israelis, the loss of life we're seeing of innocent Palestinians in Gaza, is tragic, horrifying, and as any human being, I would hope, would feel the same way. The only way we're going to fix that is to engage with the Saudis, encourage a peace deal with the Israelis, and make a core element of that. The core element is a two-state solution with peace, security, and opportunity, both for Israelis and Palestinians. I remind everybody, Israel is a multicultural society, home to Jews, Muslims, and Christians. I envision there will be a Palestinian state that will be home to Jews, Muslims, and Christians. I believe we should be dedicating and redoubling our efforts to that. It's possible. My generation, my generation, our generation, is ready to do it. I see the path. I've been working on it. And I will continue that, and that will be a hallmark of my presence. Is there anything that you would do differently than what Biden's been doing on the Middle East in the last three weeks? I think it is. I think this would be a terribly inappropriate time to comment on the president's handling of uh, overseas events uh, during war. I see too many of my uh, fellow candidates for president demeaning, diminishing him. I think it's despicable, disgusting. Uh, I do have a few differences of opinion on, on policy and strategy, but this is not the time to address that. One is. <laughs> when, when we move beyond the acute elements of, of this, uh, this circumstance, uh, when there is a relative calm that we cannot then miss an opportunity once again to make something happen. Americans, America has withdrawn from a lot of the world. We spend a lot less on diplomacy than we spend on our military. Look you at mean, the numbers. You mean after and Israel invades Gaza, you mean? I mean that after the certain... Israel has got to eliminate, not just Israel, the free world must eliminate Hamas. Hamas is the enemy of Israel. Hamas is the enemy of Palestinians. That is true. I care deeply about Palestinian lives. I care deeply about Israeli lives. I am so sick of the bloodshed. And by the way, we just lost 18 Americans right here in Maine. 18 Americans slaughtered by the same weapons that our young men and women are carrying around the world in defense of us. And those same weapons are killing us. So let's talk about home first, is what I would say. And let's talk about people who are struggling and can't afford their rent and can't afford their food, don't have health care. And if they did, they can't even access it. We're the only country in the world with the great blessings that we have and also the only country in the world with those great challenges and we've got to do something about it. And I don't have all the answers. I've got some. But I'm going to invite Republicans and Democrats to help generate those answers together in a way that this country needs so desperately and has never seen before.